name's Catherine Davis and I'm a lecturer in sociology in the department and I'm currently involved in a project called Under the Same Roof um, which is funded by the Economic and Social Research Council and I'm involved in that project with some colleagues from Manchester University as well. The project is about shared living in the UK um, and we have found that shared living is rising in the UK and that many people are choosing to share with others because they find it more socially or environmentally or financially sustainable. But also at the same time there are people who have no choice but find that they have to start sharing their home because uh, living costs are so high and rental and house prices are so high that people often, it's the only way they can afford to live. So it's certainly something that is growing in importance in the UK at the moment. So our research project focuses on four types of sharing. Um, the first one is small housing cooperatives and these are housing co-ops where people will often choose to be a member of a co-op and they'll all have a share in the ownership of the home and quite often, not always, but quite often housing co-ops are founded on a kind of shared political belief of some sort often and maybe a uh, a wish to live more environmentally or um, to kind of be active in politics or something like that. Often people will choose to live in a housing co-op um, for quite sort of ethical reasons. Another form of sharing that we're interested in is co-housing projects and these are um, projects where privately owned homes are sort of clustered together with some shared living space. That could be a shared common room where people eat meals together, shared recreational space, that sort of thing. Um, they can kind of vary in the way that they work, but often these co-housing projects have sort of built into them some form of sharing as well as some private spaces too. Another form of sharing that we're looking at is uh, private renting. So um, this might be um, landlords or tenants who are renting a, a room in somebody's house or who have decided to rent out one of their rooms um, and so we're investigating that. And then the final sort of sharing is um, maybe what you would think of as your typical kind of young people sharing arrangement with a bunch of friends kind of living together in a shared house, usually rented. But we're particularly interested in, in exploring that sort of sharing through the life course. So actually, it's not just young people that share in that way. People are increasingly sharing with friends um, much later into the life course. So those are the four types of sharing that we're looking at. So one of the things that I'm particularly interested in in all the research I do is interpersonal relationships and the way people get along with one another. And arguably, when you're sharing your home with other people, whether it's in a housing co-op or as a tenant or in a shared house with your mates, the relationships with those housemates are the foundations of whether your housing situation works or doesn't. And so the, all these types of sharing arguably live or die based on the relationships at their heart. So we're really interested in exploring how these sharing relationships work um, and what sorts of trials and tribulations people face when they're sharing. And this is something that is of interest to us academically, but also we're working with various stakeholders who are providing social housing, for example, for people who need this information, they need to understand what works in shared housing and what they can do to help people who find themselves having to share, help, to, help them to make it work and to be hopefully enjoyable and workable situation.